My name is Nathan Smith. I am the director of this film. This is going to be a feature film. It's called Sora City, and it's a stop-motion animated film. Uh, so stop-motion is essentially the process of taking an object, in our case it's a character, but you move, you move that object or character a teeny tiny bit, you take a picture, you do that 24 times, you have one second. So to do a feature film, like in our case, you're doing it hundreds of thousands of times, and that ends up giving you the full film. Uh, my name is Bruce Edwards, and I'm uh, one of the partners of Motion Foundry Studios. We are a small, independent uh, film company that is producing stop-motion animation, and we are at the crossroads of trying to blend new technology with the old process of stop-motion animation. So traditionally, the characters were made with clay. And then you would then take that clay, you would make a mold of it, and you would cast it in either a foam material or a silicone or a plastic. And you would hire a whole team of sculptors to hand sculpt every expression of the character. So, you, for instance, you would have the, let's say the S sound that the character's making with the teeth closed. You would have to then sculpt all of the expressions to make a smooth transition to say the A sound or the smile or the frown. And you would have, you know, 50 different mouth expressions that you would have to hand sculpt and it would take months and cost thousands and thousands of dollars. It took quite a bit of time and a lot of work, and especially when it came to painting, because consistency is probably the biggest nightmare in this industry. And for an example, um, you have to have blush on the cheeks, you know, to make a, a character uh, seem lifelike. You, know, you don't want one solid color, so you blush up the cheeks. and. When you have three different painters, and even just one painter, to get them exact on 52 mouths, you know, which your mouth is this whole section, um, is impossible. So with the 3D printing technology now, what Go Engineer was able to help us accomplish was we can create extremely accurate expression and animation, something we were never able to do before because it was all hand done before. So Go Engineer really helped us capture not only the technical aspect, but the animation itself looks probably 50% better than what we could do before. When you're paying on average between $25 to $40 an hour for an artist to sculpt and to, to create uh, your mouths or your uh, body parts, that can end up costing you literally tens of thousands of dollars for one puppet. And to be able to 3D print in color and to do a mouth or a face overnight, you can see the impact that that has on a studio and being able to uh, take that amount of money that you would spend on artists and, and literally labor and put it back into your project. It allows you to do so much more with your project. So we would go in and model the faces, the expressions, the hair, anything we needed, and then I was able to just email those files over to Tyler Reed at Go Engineer, and he would take those files, do whatever magic it is they do, I don't know, but they would put in their printer and also in a couple of days we would get shipped back completely, fully printed parts that were in color, exactly the way they needed to be. All we had to do is just spray a little simple gloss shine onto them or a matte finish and I could then start animating. Once the files came over to me from Nate, it was my job to prepare them for 3D printing. We were looking at the geometry of the parts, but also the color. So we did some work on the geometry and also chose how to orient the parts to give us the most consistent look. Once we got the parts off the printer, we gave them to Nate, got the go ahead to print the rest of the parts. I think we printed about 60 or so all together over the span of a week or two and everything came out great. It was amazing because the animation was better, but also we were getting it done in like a fraction of the time of what it would normally take. You just can't go any other way nowadays. It's, it's the wave of the future. <laughs>
this is going to uh, make it possible for small companies like ourselves, small studios, to produce work that competes on a much larger scale and level. It's incredible technology the way it's going.